Isaiah chapter 34. Come near, ye nations, and hear, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world and all that proceedeth thereof. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his wrath upon all their armies. He hath destroyed them, and delivered them to the slaughter. And their slain shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their bodies, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be folded like a book. And all their hosts shall fall as the leaf falleth from the vine, and as it falleth from the fig tree. For my sword shall be drunken in the heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Edom, even upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with the fat and with the blood of the lambs and the goats, with the fat of the kidneys of the rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Bozrah, and a great slaughter in the land of Edom. And the unicorn shall come down with them, and the heifers with the bulls. And their land shall be drunken with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, and the year of recompense for the judgment of Zion. And the rivers thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall be burning pitch. It shall not be quenched night nor day, the smoke thereof shall go up evermore. It shall be desolate from generation to generation, none shall pass through it forever. The pelican and the hedgehog shall possess it, and the great owl, and the raven shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch out upon it the line of vanity and the stones of emptiness. The nobles thereof shall call to the kingdom, and there shall be none, and all the princes thereof shall be as nothing. And it shall bring forth thorns in the palaces thereof, nettles and thistles, and the strongholds thereof. And it shall be an habitation for dragons, and a court for ostriches. There shall meet also Zim and Lim, and the satyr shall cry to his fellow, and the screech owl shall rest there, and shall find for herself a quiet dwelling. There shall the owl make her nest, and lay and hatch, and gather them under her shadow. There shall the vultures also be gathered, every one with her make. Seek in the book of the Lord, and read. None of these shall fail. None shall want her make, for his mouth hath commanded, and his very spirit hath gathered them. And he hath cast the lot for them, and his hand hath divided unto them. By line they shall possess for ever. From generation to generation shall they dwell in it. God bless and carry on.